welcome to Cedar Hill Country Market. Today I'm going to show you how to make a coat rack. Um, we make these coat racks for our home decor section of our website and we sell them there. So if you don't find yourself crafty, you're welcome to go shop our website and find out all of the little uh, coat racks that we have available. This is going to be really a simple one. It's a farmhouse feel. It's not ornate or anything like that. But it's simple, clean, modern farmhouse. So we're just taking a two by four and my husband has cut it down for me. And uh, this is approximately, let's see. This is a uh, 19 inches long. So we're gonna put three hooks on it. And uh, you just put it, you know, inside a, a door, even a bathroom. And um, it's just gonna be super simple. Uh, something easy that you can make yourself or certainly buy from us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to base coat this in a chalk paint <clears throat> because I'm going to decoupage and we use white uh, chalk paint because we want our background to be white so that it'll brighten up any uh, paper that we use as far as decoupaging. So let's get the uh, white paint uh, and this is, I'm using Dixie Bells. I'll leave the link to the paint in the description for you. And uh, this is their white called Fluff. And we're just going to give it a one coat of uh, all the areas that we're going to decoupage. second coat I'm going to show you a, a method that I like to use I've not seen it online uh, there is the heat method where you can put um, another coat of Mod Podge you can lay your uh, decoupage paper down and then you can put an iron on top and that seals it great we use that too but this particular uh, method that I like it it takes a lot of patience to do it but I'm going to show you I've not done this on camera but I'm going to show you a way that I do it and um, hopefully it comes out <laughs> the same this is going to be a true test to have it on camera but I'm going to go ahead and do my second coat of Mod Podge I'm going to go ahead and glue down the area where I'm going to adhere the paper I'm going to turn it up on its side 
looks like I need to go a little bit further. And I find this method, uh, it works really well because you don't have the, everybody's always trying to get the air bubbles to be out of their, you know, so it doesn't bubble up on you. Don't worry about going too far up. Okay. Like that. Okay, and you can feel the glue coming through here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with the dryer. And as I'm drying it, I'm going to start pressing it. Okay, see that's completely stuck on there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, my second coat of Mod Podge, I'm gonna put underneath here. Now you may not like this method, so all the decoupage police out there, just know I've tried this multiple times and it works, but some people believe in the way that they like to do it. So the trick is you got to get it on here quickly. And you got to be really gentle with the paper you're using. Make sure it's really as wet as possible. And I'm going to take my paper or my napkin and I'm going to pull without ripping. I'm going to pull and pat, pat it down. Perfect. Now I'm going to get the dryer because we're going to dry the glue with this on here and it's going to release those, those air pockets. <laughs> No air bubbles at all. I'm going to do the same for the end over here. Oops. Sorry, my brain's getting ahead of me. Okay, and then we're just going to take our napkin, I'll lay it down, pull straight up on it like that. I'm going to air. <laughs> Now maybe this wouldn't work for like, um, you know, a very small surface area, but for a large surface area, if you're decoupaging, this really works great. And we're just gonna take the 220 sandpaper, because if you try to cut this, it's gonna be a mess. Okay, we have a nice leftover piece there. And now both all of our sides are covered. And then we're gonna come across and we're gonna do, we're gonna match up our squares and come over and do our 
our end piece as well. So maybe I hope that you maybe will re rewind the tape and watch that again. Um, it's just a really nice way of ensuring that you're not going to have any, sorry about my camera, you're not going to have any uh, air bubbles to worry about. So we're going to do the same thing over here on the end. Okay, we've got our hooks painted black, and we'll go ahead and touch these up with some black so that the screw head tops or the screw heads are covered in black as well. I'm going to go ahead and make this a leash hanger, or instead of a coat rack, more of a leash hanger, and I'm going to put a paw print over here, and um, this will be really cute to hang dog leashes on. Um, and we do make those and then I'm going to touch up the ends and um, I've already got my hooks in the back for hanging and then we'll finish up the video. I'm going to use my little craft iron here and let me get some craft paper and you just set the graphic wherever you want. The reason I'm using it, the shirt vinyl is because this Fabric is 100% cotton, and I want to make sure that this sticks to this. Otherwise, if this were just stained, you could use uh, the kind of uh, vinyl that you could just rub on as long as you sealed it. I find that stuff comes off sometimes, so I really don't use a lot of it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just get my graphic where I want it. You could add a name here if you wanted to, too. I'm just going to add a paw print. But you could add a name across the top. And um, this is just a great little farmhouse Christmas idea. And we love making home decor around here. Just your imagination can just, you know, you can have all kinds of ideas. Um, but implementing them and making sure they're cost effective for your business is a whole different situation. If I'm making stuff for myself, I tend to take a lot longer, um, and I don't really care if I finish in one day, but when it's stuff that's going to drive profit, you really need to make sure that what you're making is, you know, profitable. And, uh, let's see if this, no, it's a little bit more time under the iron. And I'm just adding a little bit of pressure along with some heat. Okay, let me turn this around to give you a view. So here's your, you could put leashes and collars and doggy bag, stuff you hang for the dog bags over here. And then we have this cute little adorable paw print. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll try to make this. And if not, come to our website at Cedar Hill Country Market where you can purchase them. Everybody have a blessed holiday and don't forget, find somebody to bless.